This is Daniel in so many words. Hey there fellow Pokemon trainers, my name is Daniel and in so many words, I really don't know how the whole process of becoming a gym leader really works. Pokemon gyms are a very important part of the Pokemon games. Aside from completing the Pokedex, which, <laughs> let's be honest with each other for a second, ain't nobody got time for that. One of your main goals in the games is to challenge these gyms so you can collect gym badges, which will then allow you to challenge the Elite Four at the Pokemon League to potentially become the Pokemon League champion. That being said though, I really don't know the criteria by which they appoint the gym leaders, nor do I know how one would apply to become one. I I mean, obviously all the gym leaders and the gyms would have to be approved by the Pokemon League of that region, but I don't think the process is really that consistent. For example, some gym leaders like Whitney are just appointed by the Pokemon League, while others can apparently inherit the position from a close family member, just like Janine, Faulkner, and Flannery. And yet some families, like Rourke and Byron, could just have two separate gyms operating at the exact same time within the same region. And it seems like the gym leaders don't actually have to stay in their gym at all times to accept new challengers once they get the job. One glaring example of this is Giovanni, the Viridian City gym leader. He was not in his gym even once throughout Red, Blue, and Yellow until the official gym battle you had with him over the Earth Badge. The gym was locked up until that point and his name was scratched off the sign. It's no wonder no one in Viridian City knew he was the leader until after you beat him. But here's my question. If all the gyms and the gym leaders of each region have to be approved by that region's Pokemon League, then how the fuck did the people working at the Indigo Plateau not know that the guy who was well known for leading Team Rocket was also operating one of their gyms? Now don't get me wrong, Giovanni may have been a legitimate gym leader at some point in his life. When you beat him for the Earth Badge, he gives you a TM, as all gym leaders do, and then he says he made that TM back when he ran this gym far too long ago. This implies that he was either a gym leader who went rogue and joined Team Rocket, or that he was always a Team Rocket member, possibly always the boss, but that he was still able to become a gym leader because this would have been at a time before Team Rocket's crimes were so well known. Either way though, you would think once they found out about his criminal activities, they would just put the proverbial boot up his ass and revoke his gym leader status. Unless... Unless Giovanni had been using Team Rocket's profits to bribe the Pokemon League officials at the Indigo Plateau to continue letting him use his gym, all the while they would be using that money to bribe the other Kanto gym leaders into keeping their mouths shut about it so that they could, you know, uh, like, use that money and, you know, the, uh, the, the Team Rocket connection to, uh, to, uh, uh... All right, you guys, I have to confess, I have no idea where I was going with that at all. <laughs> Clearly, I read way too many Pokemon creepypastas for my own good. But you know something, guys? All this talk about gyms and gym leaders really has me thinking now. What would it be like if I started a Pokemon gym. I mean, if the boss of Team fucking Rocket can have an official gym, then I say, hey, why can't I? You already know this is leading to a cutaway that's going to show you exactly why I couldn't have my own gym, don't you? Alright, Daniel, I understand you're here today because you're interested in starting a gym? Oh yeah, dude, you're going to love this, okay? I'm going to start a Dark-type gym. Oh, interesting. Okay, there's never been one of those before. Alright, well, um, obviously I just have a few regulations and things that we have to go through before Yeah, we... yeah, whatever. Look, I got some awesome ideas for this gym, okay? And I don't want any of that rotating wall or warped out bullshit. No, no, no. I want death traps. I'm talking like, like, full-fledged Indiana Jones level death traps, okay? I'm talking like poison darts shooting out of the walls, breakaway floors over spike pits, and just like hundreds and hundreds of snakes and spiders everywhere in this gym. All over the place, right? Oh, oh, yeah, you know that thing in, uh, Rares of the Lost Ark where he has to take that golden idol off that weight-sensitive trigger so he has to replace it with something of equal weight? Like, how much would it cost to maybe get something like that set up in my gym? You know, just kind of ballpark it. Because I'm thinking, right, they get to the end of the gym and they have to do something like that, you know, with the weight-sensitive trigger and the golden idol and all that shit. They do it right, the door opens, they get to face me for the badge. They get it wrong, chased out of the gym by a giant fucking boulder. Okay, so let me get this straight. You want me to certify you to open a gym that is full of blatant death traps that will probably kill any trainer who goes through them before they even have a chance to challenge you for a badge? Uh, yeah. I mean, come on, did I, did I not just explain that in great detail? <laughs> okay, 
Besides all the obvious moral problems I have with your idea, what does this have to do with dark type Pokemon? Oh, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, you have to make sure that whenever the trainers challenge my gym, it's before they can legally use Flash outside of battle. Dare I ask why? Oh yeah, you're gonna love this part, okay? They're gonna have to get through my gym and all its obstacles in pitch black darkness. Oh, oh, okay. I see how it is. Yeah, Skylar can shoot people out of cannons without helmets on, but I can't have a giant fucking boulder? All right, you know what? Fine. Forget it. Forget it. I don't need you people. I'm gonna start my own gym with, with blackjack and, and hookers. You know what? Forget the gym and the blackjack. Ah, screw the whole thing. And that right there is why we've never had a dark type Pokemon gym. Now, if you guys have any thoughts about how the gym leaders might be appointed in the games, go ahead and tell me in a comment or a video response down below. But anyway, folks, this has been a Tuesday vlog, and we'll meet again on Saturday. But until then, insert catchphrase here. Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. That's right. Team Rocket's rocket. Talking trouble, walking trouble, double trouble, big trouble's gonna fall. Team Rocket's rocket. Talking trouble, walking trouble, double trouble, big trouble's gonna fall. We're gonna capture Pikachu.